This is my bull moose skull, European mount. Just gonna show you guys what I did to do the whitening on it. I'm actually still in the process of whitening it. But uh, this is what I have done so far. When you get the head, you wanna skin off the hide, skin off all the meat, um, pressure wash the brain out, just remove all the guts, get it to bare scone. Um, there's two methods of doing it. The best method uh, recommended by all taxidermists is using beetles. They, uh, there's these little beetles that uh, if you just let them sit in it, they will just eat up everything and they won't damage the skull. That's the professional way of doing it, but I didn't have any access to it. Or uh, I didn't want to pay anyone to do it for me because this is a low budget DIY only. <clears throat> so the way I always do it is I just... Uh, Get a big old pot and boil it, boil it in uh, water and uh, it will get all the fat, <coughs> meat and stuff like that, uh, it will get it off and then uh, you do have to still pressure wash it. I recommend you have a pressure washer. Um, when you're boiling it, it's also recommended that you put soap or some kind of like Dawn dish soap or degreaser soap. I actually didn't do that part so there's still a little bit oil on my skull here <laughs> and my pot wasn't big enough for the whole skull to submerge <clears throat> so at the top portion right here uh, inside these cavities are still some fat in it so it kind of stinks a little bit but it is what it is <laughs> so uh, right now we're in the process of whitening it so after you're done pressure washing each of the cavities, inside, outside, every little port, make sure you get as much stuff as you, you can off, <laughs> let it dry up for a bit, and then uh, the chemical that you want to use is right on my left hand side here and I'll show you. <clears throat> These chemical here, I highly recommend you go to your local beauty shop, salon store. Uh, every known city should have it. Every known city should have like a beauty salon store. I'm not sure if your typical Walmart or local store will have it, but it's best to go to a beauty salon store because this is the chemical that's used in that industry. <clears throat> the number one main thing you need is a salon care, um, or it's actually called 40 40 volume cream. So this is the main ingredient and in the past I've always used this by itself but then uh, I decided to also use quick white. This is a powder so this is almost like flour powder but um, there's a quick white and a one that's called basic white. It's a B, big old B and W and then it says white. But I think they're the same. Uh, this is what my uh, this is what Mal had around in the house, and she said that this is the same stuff. So I'm just I had this around, so I decided to use this. But uh, you basically just mix these up, and I'm not sure what the proportion is, but just just mix it up, guys. It comes in a small little cup. Mix that up into some kind of plastic tub, <coughs> and then once you mix it up, you get this little cream white stuff here and it's basically self-explanatory actually you just you just start painting this whole school everything that you want white start painting it so make sure you don't paint your antlers if your antlers are this nice rustic color and you don't want it white don't paint it you guys can see that on this section here I don't want anything white or bleach so I wrapped it in a t-shirt and a uh, tied it up so make sure you do that but uh, the whole point is to get everything all white uh, paint it as much as possible uh, it's been almost about it's been about six hours with just this right here and then about two hours ago or about an hour ago I found this um, this in our bathroom so I, I mixed them up so now it's sitting with the the same coat so I'm just gonna let this sit for maybe a day or two 
uh, the recommendation is like at least three days if you're not in a rush just let it sit as long as possible once it's finished or once it's been sitting for a day or two and then you want to go over it and just wipe it down and pressure wash it what I'm gonna do is pressure wash it and then you'll see the final results um, if it's not white enough for you you can go ahead and do another round or whatever you want but I'm hoping right now it looks pretty white to me already I mean just by looking at it so so that's the thing right now so right now I'm just gonna let it sit for I'll probably let it sit for two days and then I'll, I'll pressure wash it I'm not in a big rush for it so it's not like this is uh, for a client or anybody this is just mine so I can take as long as I want and uh, the other recommendation that you're supposed to do is you're supposed to let it sit out in the Sun with this fully coated because I guess the Sun reacts to it and uh, the Sun makes it more powerful and it enrich it makes it more powerful but to be honest it's Alaska right now the middle of August no the middle of September and it's been really cloudy and raining so I don't want to leave this outside and also this time of the year in Alaska it's very very common for antler thieves to start hitting people up so another recommendation is that <clears throat> if you have a nice big old antler do not do it do not leave it outside your house uh, keep it stored inside or in a secure garage or secure enclosed building because there's a lot of people <clears throat> first timers that let their antlers put their antlers in their backyard to let it get uh, degrease or whitening or whatever it is and next day they come out and they find out that's gone because a lot of these are out right now because they know that it's the hunting season a lot of people are getting their moose their caribou and uh, they're out there looking for antlers in people's backyard and stealing it so that's just another tip for you guys uh, and this applies to Alaska and maybe other places too so that's why I'm not putting it outside I got these two lights just pointing at it I got my two uh, my two video light LED lights pointing at it I'm not sure if it's gonna react the same way as a, as a Sun but for the most part it gives it nice lighting so <clears throat> once that's finished um, I'll go ahead and pressure wash it and then uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be satisfied with it I'm not really too picky I don't need a super wide or anything like that I know it's not gonna be the best because I'd really I really didn't degrease it uh, did degrease it really good so probably after this round I'll pressure wash it and then after this um, the other step that you can also do is uh, get some mop and glow or some kind of like flooring clear coat sealant and you can just paint it over the skull and it basically makes it really nice and shiny and also uh, it's basically like it's a uh, it's basically like a gloss sealant and it doesn't hurt the skull but it, it gives it a nice clear coat and prevents it from like when, it, when dust gets on it you can just wipe it out and it's really nice so that's what I'll do and I'll probably make another video of that or I'll just make another video once this is all finished and uh, I'll show you guys another part two of the final result and then also with me putting a clear coat on it so hopefully you guys found this video helpful and uh, if you guys got any questions any recommendations that I may have missed or you guys want to give out to other people leave in the comment section down below so we can all learn together and I, I'm no, I don't want to flip the skull but the back side is also covered in it and I also pour some down where the brains are and inside the eyes the cavities inside here and as much as I can if I if I have a tote, I will just fill this tote with all this stuff and just submerge this whole head in it. But right now, this will do. So that's it for today, guys. If you guys got any questions? Let it com comments down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Alright guys, so this morning I pressure washed the skull uh, from the bleach that was applied on it. So I left it for maybe about 24 hours. As you can see, it's pretty nice and white. Uh, some folks might want it a little bit more whiter, but I'm pretty satisfied with what it, what it looks like right now. Uh, the final thing to do is just to go ahead and get some uh, mop glow or some kind of clear coat and clear coat it. I just haven't had time to run to the store to buy that yet but uh this is what the final turnout looks like i'm pretty satisfied with it and again i didn't get to boil the top 
area too much because my pot wasn't big enough so inside where the brain would be at there's still a few pieces of fatty tissues which kind of stinks it out so whenever it gets sunny I'm just gonna leave this antler outside and let it air dry and let it dry out but for the most part guys this is a European mount I still gotta find a way out I still gotta find a way how to mount this onto the wall so if you guys have any suggestion on how to secure this to the wall let me know in the comment section below uh, some of the teeth are still kind of brownish which I like gives you a little bit of character I don't need a full white teeth but I uh, just wanted to show you guys the final results and it's pretty heavy this thing is probably like maybe 30 pounds and it's really big I honestly don't even have any room to put this so maybe I'll just give this away just kidding but it looks really nice check that out <laughs> all right that's it all right